Hey everybody, it's Rex again, back from Torch Prep with more questions from the Red Book. I'm in test two on problem number 56. So go ahead and open the Red Books to this problem, press pause and read this question in depth. When you're ready to go, press play. Okay, they're throwing some, a question with some imaginary numbers on there. So this is a subject that you've never learned in any of your classes. We suggest before you spend time learning it, go review everything you have learned but you're still missing on the test. Only then come back to new stuff. But if you've already been working on imaginary numbers, we can dive in and do this right at the survey portion of the test. But let's do a little review to make sure this stays easy and we can solve this one no problem. So they're saying for all values of x over zero, we have i over the, the root of x minus i. Nice thing they're doing, they're even reminding us that i is equal to the square root of negative one. Pretty cool. So, what we're going to do, I'm gonna take this expression that we have originally, i over root x minus i. And I am, since it's a fraction, I'm gonna to try to change it by multiplying it by another fraction that allows us to change the expression to simplify it. Here's the easiest way we can do that. Root x plus i, root x plus i. Not really changing anything, keeping it exactly the same, because really, we know that since the numerator and denominator are the same, um, this is really multiplying it times one and not actually changing the value of the expression. So let's put these together. So I'm going to have on the numerator below, i root x plus i squared. Cool. Down below, I'm going to have to foil these two. So I'm going to have root x squared minus i root x plus i root x minus i squared. Now, you see why I used this. Because it is almost the same but has a plus instead of a minus, what I was able to do is I can have the minus i root x and plus i root x cancel each other out immediately. So, what I'm left with now, for my next step, I can also get rid of all this and just x remains up there. So let me rewrite the expression, expression a little bit more simply. i root x plus the square root of i over just x minus i squared. But remember that i is equal to negative 1. So really these are root negative 1 underneath these squares both times. So the root and the square can disappear. So what we end up with is i root x, and we have plus a negative one, that is minus one, and then x minus negative one, that's x plus one. And you will see from your letter answers, this simplification is the same as our letter choice in k. Great job, you remembered all the properties of, of i, you used foiling to delete the middle term to simplify things and got the right answer. Great job.